Hi students, yes. we go to planes 5. A pentagonal lamina rests on HP on one side AB, one side AB, with the surface making some inclination to HP and the diagonal connecting center of AB to the opposite corner, this line, connect line diagonal connecting or the line connecting center of AB to the opposite corner makes some angle to xy line in the plan, some angle to xy line in the top view. I repeat, first question. A pentagonal lamina rests on HP on a side with surface making some inclination to HP and the line connecting center of AB to the opposite corner making some inclination to xy line in the plan. A line is making some inclination to xy line in the plan. What is it? It is beta. A, B, C, this is D. If you name the center of AB as P, PD, PD makes beta to x y line. Beta is given, say 55 degrees or 60 degrees, say 55 degrees. In the question, it is 55 degrees. That's the question. So what do you do? Keep simple position when my side AB perpendicular to x y, tilt this corner so that the surface makes 40 degrees to HP. Then redraw this plan in such a way that P1, D1, which you call as P2, D2, P2, D2 making 55 degrees to x y line. Beta of PD is 55 degrees. Redraw the plan, satisfying the requirement and project the final elevation from this. That's the procedure. Let's draw. XY line. Symbol position plan. A, B, C, D. Project the plan to XY line. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, P, the diagonal PD is marked there. Retro this elevation, how? Take A1 dash, B1 dash anywhere on XY. Retro the derivation D1 dash, measure this distance and mark C1 dash, E1 dash, project a new plan, A1, B1, C1, D1, E1. Now what? You have to redraw the plan. How will you redraw? This is P1. When you redraw this plan, P1, D1, which you name here as P2, D2, has to make beta equal 55 degrees. So take a point on XY line and draw a line at beta equal 55. Draw a line at beta equal 55. Measure this distance and mark here. D2 P2 Draw this. This is perpendicular to PD. Draw this perpendicular. What is this? This is A2 B2. Locate this point. This is perpendicular to PD. Draw that perpendicular. This distance is equal to this distance. Mark them. C2, E2. Connect. What do you get? You get this plan redrawn. Same shape. Draw vertical projectors up. Draw horizontal projectors. A two dash B two dash C 
C two dash, D two dash, E two dash. Connect them. You get the final derivation. A two dash, B two dash, C two dash, D two dash, and D two dash. You get the final derivation. So draw simple position with side perpendicular to x y. Plan and derivation. Redraw the derivation. Project a new plan. Mark p one d one. Draw redraw p two d two, making beta equal to x fifty five degrees to x y line. Redraw the plan. Project the derivation. That is the first question. The second question out of the same problem is instead of giving beta of p d, here it is beta of p d given. Instead of giving beta of p d, you can be given phi of p d. What is the difference between phi of p d and beta of p d? Beta of p d is the angle between the plan of p d capital p d plan plan the angle between the plan of capital p d and x y line. That is beta. What is phi? Phi is the actual inclination of p d to v p. That is phi. So instead of giving beta of pd you can be given phi of pd okay if you are given phi of pd you have to find out beta of pd to draw agreed but these two drawings are same so draw this simple position redraw that elevation project a new plan now to draw p1 d1 as p2 d2 here you need beta of pd i am going to tell you how beta of pd is determined How to find out beta of PD? So this drawing is not there. Assume this drawing is not there. I am drawing the second question. So this is not there. Instead of this, this is to be drawn. I am going to explain. Take any point on x-y line and make it D. Take the true length of PD. This is true length of PD. Draw a line at phi. Phi equals thirty-five. What is this? This is TL of capital PD. Name this as P. Draw a locus through P. Draw a locus through P. Take the plan length of PD from this. D as center, cut an arc. P one. What is this? P L of capital P D. This is P one D one. This. Angle is called beta of capital P D. This angle is called beta of capital P D. Now extend it anywhere on this line. Choose P one D one and mark as P two D two. Take this P one D one and mark here D two P two. Draw a perpendicular P two. Make a one b one and mark as a two b two. Identify this point. Draw a perpendicular. This distance is equal to this distance. Mark c two e two. Connect. What do you get? You get the final plan. Instead of this, you get a Final plan here at another value of beta. Draw vertical projectors. Draw horizontal projectors. A. A two dash. B. B two dash. C. C two dash. D. D two dash. E. E two dash connect them. You get the final derivation. You get the final derivation. So when you are given phi of diagonal PD, find beta of diagonal PD and redraw the plan and do this. Now, instead of making this construction here, you can make this construction elsewhere and find out the value of beta. How do you do that? Simply draw a horizontal line anywhere. Take this true length of PD and draw the line at phi TL of capital PD. 
locate what equal as P, draw the locus, take the plan length and cut an arc D1. This angle is this angle is beta. Measure that angle and draw a line here. Instead of incorporating this construction here, find beta by a separate construction. With that beta, draw a line and construct this plan. That is to make this neat and clean, but this must be drawn near the drawing. Now, in this case, this can be brought inside this drawing also. It will make it uh, a little bit shabby. You have to be very careful. That's why I brought this plan further down. I hope you understand. So we have discussed two problems. One is beta of diagonal PD given. Second is phi of diagonal PD given where you have found out beta and rho. This sort of questions can come for any object, any lamina, any lamina. I hope you understand it. Okay. Now, if you are happy with my presentation, if you are following the things properly, please subscribe. Okay. Please like it, subscribe it and share among your friends. Okay. Thank you.